right guys, uh, so we're nearing the end of populating all the PCBs. Unit 6 is done, which is done before Unit 5, but that's not bad, is it? So, Unit 5, effectively it's the bracket coming through. You have to put something on here, so try and make that flush, which it kind of is. And this goes like that, I believe. I'm going to trim these down because I feel like they're in the way. So you can see that you've got a triangle there, solid triangle, going to the solid triangle there, empty triangle, so it goes that way around. If you're wondering, that makes it quite clear. see these points need soldering here, here and here. Um, so a big blob of solder on here. Let's get it on the angle. Apply solder to both top and bottom. Top, bottom. That's pretty straightforward. Top, bottom. Top. So you've got your, your RCA board, unit six, attached to unit five. Cool, that's that now. So you can see all the boards are coming together now. So now unit four to unit five, orientation's there, which is like that. Side A, side A, side A, side A. No nuts here at all, just take everything off. And that goes through. Nicely like that. And then I'm going to use a nut just to keep it solid because we've got all these points down here. I want to keep the angles right. So we're going to be dissolving all of these along here. That's cool. Midget fuse holder next. Which is in here. Right. You've got unit 7 and unit 8. Obviously you can see the AC voltage reference here. So 200 volts and 100 volts. So neither of that is for us. 230 volts, 115. So we'll, this is us. So unit eight. Um, first shout is the fuse. Fuse here. Obviously when you're putting the fuse in, you've got to put the fuse in. So you've got to get it the right way around. Pretty clear. What's there? And there. Done. I'll do the soldering in a minute. So that's done. Pen, pen. Both box type VH connector 7. So CN17 here. The one we're going to be putting it on, which I believe is this. So, 
CN17 refers to the 230 volts, that's pretty straightforward. Can only be fitted one way around. Oops, up, like that. It's going to fall out, so I'm just going to solder it quickly. Done. Tick. Box type VN2 connector, which is this one. Let's see, 15. Superb. Okay, I'm just going to do that one. Cap, there's only one cap left. Not where I'm specific, so either way around. It goes there. Well, it's not a cap, actually, it's a cap, it's a filter. Boom. Standoffs here, so these. So you want female to male, two of those, all the same size, so it's easy. Which way around? So that's the way the board. Three times ten. That's seven three times ten, isn't it? That's ten. Again, best to use spanner, but we haven't got one. We have. It's lost it. Cool. And then Da, 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 da. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's right, isn't it? Side, side. side B, boom. That's cool. Say anything about soldering, does it? About soldering them up anyway. doing because I have missed a couple of things, namely this one, CN5 and CN6. So The speaker tables first. This is only this bit more wicked. Look at that, that's great. So, reds on the outside, you keep your, you don't want the, the speaker post touching the, the metal, so that's the way you do it. Um, and then you can see the orientation of the hole at the top. So red's on the outside.
flex on the insides. No. <laughs> ah, Red's on, red's on there. Like that. <laughs> um. Cool, so you can see on the other side how it goes. Now, it shows here that the axis holes for the side at the top, so what I would do is I'll just put that in there, clamp it down, and then tighten up with your, your wicked wench wrench. And boom, done. So that's all fixed up now. Close them on. these in a minute and then we've got, we're doing unit five and unit six so this bit here oh my lord look how well that fits that'd be loose so you're using it the other nuts you've got for the speaker posts. And then, is there anything else going on? There's, there's four screws, M3 times 10 self tappers. So they're coming in for. So they're going to the top of the RCA hole, the plastic. wants us to fit the output trannies. So these chaps so it tells you an orientation. This side with red, yellow, orange there, so it's like that. This side, so there, 180 degrees, which is correct, the correct way to do it. So the magnetic fields don't interact. But they're quite far apart anyway, so. Up and under. Right, so that's that done, that done. Yep. So, initially, so the feet next. Cool, done. Now, wants us to do unit eight, which is this. So we've already fitted these. Just undo them. I suppose you had to fit them just to fit the thing in the first place. And two pieces. Do not forget to attach. Now I've got these are claws. These here. So. Spaces with screws. Right. Let's put that to one side for a minute. So the long one comes in from underneath, attaches. 
So the, the, male, the, the male part goes underneath. Female part at the top. So we're now attaching unit four to unit two. So, word of warning, obviously these all need to be in a line. Make sure you've soldered them all correctly. Then you like actually just push nicely into the... Two connectors to unit four, and then connect to the three pins. So you're connecting your output transformers to the board. So black, grey, green is connected into here. And now we're going to mount the mains transformer. That's cool. And then we want some flat head screws. I always do, do them loosely to start off with because we've got some movement. So these transformers are called R transformer, R core. So they're quite efficient. Quiet. Trying is quite popular at the moment. So that's that down. So this this one fits into there. Yeah, you have to do these connections before you connect the board. This one. And like that. And this one. This is the output transform into there. So that's done. And this. So it's telling you to put that, all oh, right. So yeah, be careful of these bits. Go into there, make sure they're lined up. Sometimes the wires will get stuck under it. I think all the wires are clear. So that's going in there. There's like something stopping it. Why is it wobbly? Right, 
Right, so there's an electrolytic that's touching, it's slightly bent. So what two of the screw holes are in the middle of the the octal valve bases. It's cool. Yep, that's done. Slides over the top. Chat for wires because it's one of my tracks. That's it. So lots of screws to come. Go on here now. We have to put the knob on. Wants me to put the knob on before we put the front panel on. I'm easy. And then here. So that's all being fitted, and now it's a matter of putting all the stickers on. So close, so close. <laughs>